Mr. Chris Mason, Chris, welcome back to KUSI. Thanks for having me, Paul. Now, we've seen this movie before. McElroy gets on a roll and wins big. When we've seen the movie where he gets on a roll and then the bottom drops out. Which movie are we going to be drop watching this weekend? I think the second round was a really big deal for him today. You know, he, he'd got that bugaboo off his uh, back with the bad second rounds that he's had this year. And I think uh, shooting 66 on top of another 66 has just been a, a really boost of confidence. And I look for him to go all the way this year. All right, uh, let's start with uh, the local guy, the pride of Rancho Santa Fe, Phil Mickelson. Two under round of 70. He, I guess, has a puncher's chance. What's it going to take for Phil Mickelson to become a factor over the weekend? He got really unlucky with the draw, didn't he? He was late early when he got the worst of the wind and the worst of the weather. And unfortunately, tomorrow it looks like he's going to be going off in the rain as well. So I don't, uh, I don't see it happening this year for Phil. Well, here's what Mickelson, how he assessed his chances. Listen to this. Right now, I have more control of the golf ball than I've ever had. I'm able to get the ball down. It's going straight. And if I can get some bad weather where the misses are, are exaggerated for everybody, that's, uh, that's helpful for me. Uh, he seems to be pretty optimistic for a guy who's 12 swings off the pace. Yeah, uh, very optimistic. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's talk about uh, Tiger Woods. The world is waiting for Tiger Woods to be Tiger Woods again. There were encouraging signs on Thursday. He had the 69, and then, oh, man, he could not hit a driver today. Uh, is this rust or father time taking its toll? You know, he's been out for three months with a back injury. He had surgery, and he, he says he's getting his game back, but he just hasn't had enough time to, to get his game as good as it needs to be for a tournament of this demanding. So I think um, at this point, I don't see him coming back, but uh, not, not this weekend. But with a little bit of practice, he should be good to go for, for the PGA Championship. Where, uh, his uh, worst moment came at 17. He started slow. He went double, then bogeyed the second hole, and then got to 17 and pulled a Mickelson and cranked a ball out of bounds. Uh, yeah, listen what he had to say after his round. I got off to a terrible start again, and I had some opportunities to make, make a few birdies along the way to get back to even par for the day, and I just never did. Chris, our ASR Facebook poll question on this Friday is, who's going to win another major first, Phil Mickelson or Tiger Woods? Do you care to answer that question? Um, neither of them look very likely at the moment. Neither of their <laughs> games are that good. So um, I don't expect either of them to do that well, uh, certainly not this weekend. I think with a bit of, bit of practice, I, I could see Tiger Woods competing at uh, Valhalla in the PGA Championship. If you were advising Tom Watson uh, about his Ryder Cup selections, would you add either one of these guys for the Ryder Cup? Uh, definitely Phil. Uh, everyone loves to play with him. He's such a good guy and would be a real presence, I think, on the Ryder Cup. Um, Tiger's not got a very good record in the, in the Ryder Cup. And, um, at this point, he showed us nothing all year. So unless he gets his game back dramatically in the next couple of months, then I probably wouldn't include him. Chris, I would argue with you on this thing. The one thing he is really good at Ryder Cup is TV ratings. <laughs> and don't kid yourself, that, that will be a factor in any Ryder Cup decision. Um, if you're an, you're an instructor, you, you work with young kids, you have kids, Tiger Woods' uh, on-the-course behavior, is it good for golf or bad for golf? He does like to throw his toys on the course. <laughs> um, it, uh, it, I don't think it's great for the game because I don't want him um, doing that in front of the kids. I don't, wouldn't want my students doing it. But I've got to love his passion. I love that he's so competitive. And he seems to manage to uh, handle the, the bad temper and then play well on the next shot. All right, well, you know the drill. We're going to go quickly through some of the big names on the leaderboard. you got about 12 seconds to tell me something I don't know. We'll start with the leader, Rory McIlroy. Back-to-back uh, -back 66s. I think at this point he'll go away and, uh, and win the tournament, just like he did by eight shots at the PGA and eight shots at the U.S. Open. Man, when he wins, he wins big. Uh, I guess the only guy that has a puncher's real serious chance is that guy right there, Dustin Johnson. Yeah, I think DJ uh, is probably one of the best players who hasn't won a major. That's certainly the next calling for him. Um, he should compete this weekend, but I don't see it happening. A pair of guys, a lot of guys at six under, including Ricky Fowler, uh, obviously a little uh, California interest. Yeah, it's good to see him playing well again. He's been work working with Butch Harmon, getting his game ready specifically for the majors. Played well at the U.S. Open and hopefully had another good finish. Back-to-back -back 69s. And then Sergio Garcia, can you believe it's been 18 years since he's come on the scene and he still doesn't have a major title? Yeah, incredible. Yeah, I can't believe he hasn't won a major. He's got all the facets to the game and uh, hits the ball amazing. His putter seems pretty good, so I expect him to be competing uh, this weekend. All right, camera's on you. Who's going to win? Take us into the weekend. Rory McIlroy by five. All right, uh, you, you know, it here. it's been kind of a downer year for major golf as far as it's, we've already we known who the winner is going to be. Keimer, we knew he was going to win on the weekend by uh, the time we hit the weekend. Uh, Bubba, we knew he was going to run away with the Masters. We need Tiger to be Tiger again. 
Uh, it would help the game a lot. I think it would drive the ratings a little bit more and make, uh, make golf very interesting. He's certainly the only guy that really moves the needle. All right, Mr. Chris Mason, throw up his graphic, everybody. If you want to get the... Uh, hey, give us one swing tip, Chris, before you go. Uh, what, what should we be working on? Um, keep it smooth. Don't swing too hard. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, like, that's easy to do. All right, uh, Chris, thank you very much.